Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Contenders Football 6 box half case pick your team number 6. Big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. Appreciate it. And I think Jason marked all of these six. Jason's pick your team five, right? So we all know that they're from the same case. All right. And again, uh, we do have personal breaks of contenders available on our personal breaks channel, at Jaspi's Breaks on Instagram. So if you just want to have an entire box to yourself, be greedy, that's fine. Have it all to yourself. If you want to do more group breaks, if you're only chasing specific teams or specific players, you can go to jazbeescasebreaks.com and buy into the next half case break of uh, contenders. And the next half case will be a fresh case. All right, so when is the NFL free agent slash trade window? When is that happening? Or can you, or it's a trade window, free agent window? I don't know what window it is. There's a window. I guess the league calendar. We got a rookie ticket. That Josh Allen's flipped around. What is, is that an autograph? I, I don't think so. We've got Jeremiah Owosu Koromoa. For the Browns. Cleveland, this is for you. Oh, I think they're just going to troll us with a bunch of flipped around cards, huh? That's um, Jerry with the Browns. Yeah, it's a little trickery happening here. There's Callan Mond. It looks like uh, Karen Ma uh, Callan Mond is uh, going to have to wait another year because... Kirk Cousins given an extension, a one year, another year deal. An extra year, $35 million. I'm not sure if our Vikings fans happy about another year Kirk Cousins on the books. We got Chaz Surratt, another Viking going to Edward. Gets the Kellen Mon and then the Chaz Surratt. And we got Tom Brady. He's coming back. Hey, man. It kind of cracks me up. There's uh, Chris Evans. All the all the uh, all the accolades and 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 news reports, and newspaper articles, and blog posts, and tweets, and all this sort of stuff, you know, congratulating Tom Brady on his career. You know, and now, what, what happens when he retires again? Do we go through the same, like, the same praise parade? Oh, you know what we're going to do with these? We'll do left-right randomizers on those. And we've got an Antonio Gates, 10 out of 99, 18 out of 99.
All right, let's see what we got. Good luck. It's Nick Bolton, rookie ticket autograph, Nick Bolton. I don't know where Nick Bolton goes. Let's go to group break checklists, contenders football cards, team checklist. Nick Bolton is a Kansas City Chief. That's going to go to Sam Rill. All right, that was box one. Next box. Logan saying Packers fans are happy that, that Kirk Cousins is back. Cowboys keeping Gallup with a $62.5 million deal. It's a nice payday for Michael Gallup. Five years, sixty-two and a half million, ten million dollars signing bonus, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Nice. Uh, center Jensen agrees to a three-year deal with the Bucks. Cardinals and tight end Zach Ertz agreed to a new th three-year deal. Bills bringing back wide receiver McKenzie on a two-year deal. Cowboys to trade. That's right. Cowboys trading Amari Cooper to the Browns. What happened there? I thought Amari Cooper was pretty solid. Maybe he was getting paid too much. Harry saying Chiefs, I think. Uh, Harry, I think you're lagging behind by a few minutes. Click that live button. We are uh, halfway through ripping open the second box when you mentioned that. Oh, there you go. He's live now. Thank you, Harry. That would have helped me three minutes ago. <laughs> Why did it, it was the was Cooper a money thing? Ar, is Arthur here? Was was cutting Amari Cooper a, a money thing? Did they put that money to Michael Gallup instead. Michael Gallup, C.D. Lamb. <laughs> Brian's like, I feel like Michael Gallup just. Drop two passes as soon as he signed that deal. Drop the pen, maybe. All right. Ooh, nice. We got a Joe Burrow season ticket to 199, second year. Well, Arthur saying, yeah, it was a money thing. I feel like, is that... I feel like that Ezekiel Elliott deal is still kind of biting them in the butt, right? Because I feel like if that Ezekiel, if Ezekiel Allen didn't get paid as much as he did, that Joe Burrow card, by the way, goes to Sean and the Bengals. And then Jason Pinnock, rookie ticket, will go to the JETS Jets, 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 Ryan with the Jets. We got rookie ticket Cameron McGrone. Patriots. That'll be for Sean Maddock. Another redemption. Yeah, Elliot probably should have been gone first. That's the thing. That's that's why teams are so hesitant to to pay that that running back. There's rookie ticket Braven Jordan Texans. That's gonna be for Ben. We 
We got Rashad Bateman on card autograph for the Purple Birds. That is for Aaron and the Ravens. Harry's smelling a huge eagle hit coming. Oh, we still have plenty of boxes to go. Let's see. So, what, what, what do you. Like, what's a big. What would be the big. What are you. Uh, what's the big hit that you're looking for? We got Tommy Tremble. Tremble is a Panther. That's for Garrett. Last spot mojo. 70% of the time, 100% of the time. Maybe a, a cracked ice Devonta Smith would be pretty nice, I think. Wow, an out of five, Demo Devonta Smith. Harry's calling. That'd be pretty sweet. The low numbered cards are really hard in contenders, just considering how many cards just exist in a, in a series run of contenders. Got Daniel Jones autograph. Sunday ticket signatures, 21 out of 49. This could be a big year for Daniel Jones. He's got some nice penmanship too. It'd be a shame if that penmanship didn't work out. Twenty one out of forty nine. That's for the New York football giants, Jerry. Joe, when do you guys find out who goes to the national? Like who's on the travel team? Davis Mills on card autograph. Three out of ninety nine rookie roundup auto for the Texans. That's for Benjamin. I don't think if that's what you're asking, I don't think we even I don't know. What what month is it? Are we in I can, we'll probably start figuring that out in two or three months. There's rookie ticket auto, Cornell Powell, on card autograph for the Chiefs. It'll be for Sam. Arthur, are you on the travel team? Varsity travel team? You might get unlicensed train whistle, train whistle uh, shirts, if I'm going. Yeah, you, you, should, you guys should hang with us all, all week long. Then you could sit right across from me and glare at me while I don't pull you hits in a, in a break. Nice. Arthur as head of security. That'd be nice. There's a rookie ticket autograph, Chris Evans. That'll be another one for Sean Maddock and the Bengals. Yeah, I mean, with the throngs of fans that are going to be there, Arthur, I'm definitely going to need a little extra security. 
There's Darren Hall for the Falcons. EA with the Dirty Birds. It's fun, though. We, we have, over the years, we have had people actually just hang out with us and... and uh, Uh, actually hang out with us and, and watch our breaks. I wasn't dropping F-bombs at kids. I was dropping F-bombs to Nick about the incompetence of this other team that we were working with that we had to share a booth with. If you remember that team back in the day, Arthur. That's why I was dropping F-bombs too. They, they were well deserving of those F bombs. the annoying kid I don't think I would have dropped up on about annoying kid I definitely remember it being uh, being like the non Jaspies team that we were meeting up with and sharing a booth with forgot to bring like these pretty essential supplies <laughs> they were they were a bunch of idiots there you've never been to yeah if you've never been to a national Harry even if we even if the full team doesn't go you guys should go just for, even if it's just for a quick day trip. Cause it's, you might need two days. It's pretty overwhelming. I would actually, oh, you're actually on vacation that week in Ocean City, New Jersey, and that's about 15 minutes away. I was, that's perfect because I was gonna say, you probably wanna start locking in some sort of, especially if you're gonna be there a night or two, that you really start, should start thinking about lodging and getting that squared away early on, because all the hotels there obviously know that there's a big convention in town. So those rooms may fill up fast or get expensive pretty quickly. We got Greg Rousseau, a great defensive end for the Buffalo Bills, Roy with the Bills. But yeah, if you've got lodging squared away, the, the most common thing I hear Oh, by the way, Roy, Buffalo! Like Buffalo Gold at, at Atlantic City. Um, the, the, from the first timers, I always hear that one day is too short, especially if you have to rush through the, you can't really, you can't really like admire. So rookie, this is not the quarterback Jonathan was looking for, but Jonathan, there's Ian Book, rookie ticket autograph. But a lot of people say that one day is too short to walk through the whole uh, to walk through the whole thing. Everyone's like, it's like not enough time. I barely saw anything. Even two days, I feel like, is not enough. You might need three full days. Out of ninety-nine, supernatural, spooky, Trevor Lawrence. See if he can create some magic this year. New coach, Sean Maddock with the Jags. Presley Harvin the third, rookie ticket autograph. Punter autograph. Going to Sean Maddock with the Steelers. Sean, do you just put this one away in a in a drawer? And you just hope that he becomes a Hall of Fame punter. Then you take that back out. He's back. He's in the AFC. AFC West. Rookie ticket. Cracked ice autograph. Ernest Brown the fourth. 14 out of 21. That's going to go to the Rams. Brian Ashley. Won that spot in the filler.
Redemption. Good luck. It's Panay Sewell, rookie ticket autograph. Uh, Leo with the Lions. With the big Panay Sewell. That guy might be a Hall of that offensive lineman might be a Hall of Famer by the time his career is done. Yeah, the cracked ices always look really sharp. Oliver likes it too. All right, two boxes to go in this half case break. Remember, the next half of Contenders is from a fresh case. Contenders number. Um, we're doing six right now, so contenders number seven on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Half case from a fresh case. Yeah, you got to play it. I mean, there's 12 autographs left. That's a lot. Six in each box. Hopefully no points. Good luck, everybody. All right, we got Jonathan Cooper, playoff ticket autograph, 49 out of 99. My rivals, the Broncos. That's going to go to Nick Galvin, who won that team in the filler break. Harry, so again, na the National Virgin, Virginia, you can bring cards to sell, I'm assuming, yes. So there'll be hundreds, if not a couple thousand. Uh, ooh, nice Elijah Mitchell, he had a nice season. Rookie ticket autograph for the Niners, that'll be for Bruce. There you go, Bruce. Bruce was at the National last time we went to uh, New Jersey. We're going to figure out who the travel team is going to be this year. I don't know what scale or scope. It's a, little, it's a little bit more difficult to go all the way across country. Um, so we don't know what the size or scope of our operation is going to be, but I think we should have a presence there. Here's another Bronco, Javante Williams for Nick Galvin. But, uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not going to, now if you, if we were, if we were like the national and all that information is on the way, I'd, I'd, I'd be like, come on, just look at the website. No, um, but yeah, there are, there are thousands of dealers that are there. Like all the major companies will be there to do, and they'll have giveaways and prizes and stuff like that. Um, tons of dealers who are buying and selling cards. Anything from like, there's Marshall Falk, Chain Movers to 99. And we've got another Ernest Brown the fourth for the Rams, for Brian. So yeah. People bring suitcases, flight, huge flight cases or backpacks full of stuff. Some people even bring like fancy flight cases, which are, which are actually kind of, especially with the way the values of cards are now these days, protects it from, uh, from sticky hands. But, um, but yeah, a lot of people, uh, and if you get there early in the week enough, um, PSA is on site. So if you get there early enough and those, those submissions fill up really quickly, but if you get to the national early enough, um, and do like the pre, the preview day thing, blah, 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 um, you can probably get your crates.
cards graded and slab for you by the end of the week. All right, redemption is another Panay Sewell. So, Lions, Leo, you're starting your Panay Sewell personal collection PC, whether you, uh, whether you intended to or not. I almost wrote Phoenix on here because I was reading what Arthur was saying. They're having a card show in a couple of weeks here in Phoenix and they have like 350 plus vendors. All right, last box. Um, we're going to a card show. Oh, that Phoenix card show is probably gonna. What's the? What are the dates on? Is that before the Mint card show in Vegas? I guess it's far enough away where it won't step on each other. But. But uh, we're going to the. Uh, the Mint Collective show in Las Vegas, if anybody wants to say hi to us there. Especially if you're in within driving distance or you just want to hop on a quick flight. I'm sure there's tons of flights from any major airport to, to Las Vegas. So what else is there at the National? So tons of dealers. Uh, there's some group breakers that end up there. Although the last couple of years, I've just I've not been too familiar with the, the breakers that have been there. Oh, interesting. That's it. those are the exact dates for the Mint Card Collective show. I wonder why they would schedule it like that. Oh, you know what? That mid show wasn't originally supposed to be late March. I think because of the the Omicron scare, it was supposed to be in late January, but they pushed it a couple months. That's why, because I was like, they wouldn't like why would the Phoenix show do it the same do it the same weekend? But that makes sense now. That's, that's probably why, because the mid show was moved. Is that Arthur? Is that like a regular show? What's the what's the deal? Are they, it's like a monthly, every other month kind of situation, first month. Oh, points. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. We got a Peyton Turner rookie ticket autograph. This year's the first year they're doing it. Are you going to go? Give us a scouting report if you do. We got a Ramondre Stevenson rookie ticket on card autograph. For the Patriots, Sean Maddock with the Pats. We've got a Rookie of the Year contender, uh, 47 out of 99 for Ryan and the Jets. Oh, they're going to have autograph signings there too, huh? Interesting. There's rookie ticket autograph, Ben Mason. That'll be for the uh, Patriots, actually. we will say here in the small print, signed by the Patriots. So that's another one for Sean. And we got playoff ticket. Playoffs? Playoffs? 72 out of 99, Ashton Dullin. And that's Sean Maddock with the Colts. He won that. <laughs> there you go, Harry. Yeah, always think of the good times when when you have a bad break. All right, gang. Let's do a couple randomizers here, and then I'll do a quick recap. 
So let's go back to random.org. We'll first do the left-right randomizer, and then everyone has a shot at the points. I don't think there's any other randomizers here right now. That's it. So one dice roll for both lists. It's going to be five and a four nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, left side. So all the uh, left side cards will get these uh, these round numbers cards. All right, five and a four, nine times. 400 points for the name on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, points are going to go to Our kind of slide at the beginning, I think, of every year. Brian Ashley. So there you go. 400 points for Brian. So that's going to go your way. And a quick recap. Panay Sewell. Panay Sewell again. Trevor Lawrence to 99. Davis Mills, Daniel Jones, Tommy Tremble. There's a Joe Burrow to 199, Nick Bolton. And there you have it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.